All right, so Marco's doing the dichlor, and he's going to uh, spread that around. That's another pack. So his millions of fans right now are eagerly awaiting him yeah, to do this. Go. And then I'm going to come back right behind him and sweep. Good All right. And there you go. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and sweep. And uh, he's going to pour about another gallon of chlorine in there. Uh, trying to get this all uh, swirled up. Because he has one skimmer um, right there. Being this is this kind of an above ground pool. What is this? It's an above ground. Yeah. In the ground. It's an above ground in the ground. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have a bottom drain. Um, so we're just going to focus on the skimmer. And we're going to see how this goes. All right, so this is, I think this is day four, either day four or five. Uh, Marco's been doing some work, so let's just go ahead and see what it's looking like. So here's the pool. Um, what I found out was that it was uh, low in cyanuric acid, like I said. So we went ahead and shocked um, with dichlor, four pounds of dichlor. But I told Marco um, to get dichlor, and he got conditioner which is just straight cyanuric acid so we put three and a half pounds of cyanuric acid in here and shocked again and I just took the readings uh, the the chlorine is still at about uh, 12 parts per million the cyanuric acid is right at 30 and the pH is at 7.2 alkalinity is at 70 uh, hardness still up there because just because of the fill water so you can see this is Florida so fill water is going to be very hard anyway uh, but the cyanuric acid is right around about 30 which is exactly where I want it to be uh, range as you know is around 30 to 40 or between 30 to 50 parts per million now this is an absolute huge difference from what it was and hopefully you can see some of this debris in there I don't know if you can it's really sunny but it's just kind of sand that was all along there um, just some more d debris that was in the pool let's come over here and hopefully you can see that I don't, boy I don't know if you can like I said it's really really bright but um, anyway I'm gonna just go gonna go ahead and vacuum this up I skim the top off and I'm topping off the pool right now with the hose uh, because I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all of this to waste so we'll see what that does. Okay, so I think that is about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pool. So I went ahead and vacuumed and as you can see, let's walk over here. Everything looks pretty good and for all intents and purposes, I am finished. My job here is finished. Uh, Marco can go ahead and take care of the rest but I just want to give you a comparison here uh, the pool went from this to this And what we did, again, uh, was I took the readings. This thing was just an absolute swamp green. Uh, chunks of algae floating in the pool. Um, there was algae, you know, three, four inches deep in the pool because he didn't run it the entire winter. Uh, cyanuric acid was low. Put three and a half, I think three and a half, four pounds of cyanuric acid. Uh, in the pool, this is a 15,000 gallon pool, bring the stabilizer up to about 30 to 40 parts per million, shocked it, put some acid in there, the uh, uh, pH member was about 8.2, put a quart of acid down down in there, um, dropped it down to 7, I think it was 7.2, because chlorine works better uh, at a slightly lower pH, and just kept filtering and backwashing. Uh, first thing remember that I did was I vacuumed uh, to waste to get all of that dead algae off of the pool, off the pool bottom, and then I swept. You know, it was it was a chore, but uh, let's see. You can look at the, you can see the 
actually see the ladder now. So I'm just hopping up off the pool right now. But anyway, that is one of the ways when you're when you have a pool uh, that has low cyanuric acid, you don't drain it and you put cyanuric acid in there or you can use dichlor and uh, shock it and go ahead and take the other readings and take the proper steps. So that is it. That's the way you clear up a green pool. Uh, be sure to check out the description box below. Link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. Like, subscribe, and comment here. And if you want a personal consultation, uh, you can go to my website. Um, there's a link to that. And so I guess that's about it. My job is done. Happy swimming. Be safe. We'll see you next time. Bye.